On this part, you'll add the first model class to your project. But before you add the first model, let us talk about what the model itself is. Per definition, Entity Framework uses EDM or the Entity Data Model for all the database-related operations. An EDM is a model that describes the entities and the relationships between them. To understand this better, think of an Entity Data Model as a footprint of a table written in c -sharp code. So let us say in your database you have a table named book and this table has three properties, an ID of type integer, a title of type mvarchar50 and a date edit of type date time. Now for this table you need to have in your c -sharp code a class named book which is the same as the table name which has an ID of type integer, a title of type string and a date edit of type date time. Now the book class is your model for the book table. So in other words, models are just C sharp classes. Let us go to Visual Studio and add your first model to your project. In your project, go to the Solution Explorer and then inside the My Books project, we are going to create a new folder where we are going to put all the data related files. So let us right click and then go to add. We want to add a new folder. I'm going to name this folder data. Then inside this folder, I'll have another folder. So add. I'll name this folder models. The first model that we are going to add will be the book model. So let us right click in here and we said that models are just C sharp classes. So add a class. Let us name this class book. .cs. And then in here we need to define all the properties that we want to have as table columns in our SQL database. So the first one will be the book ID. So prop, double tab. Then I'll leave it as type integer, just change it to ID. Then next we have the, let's say, the title property. So prop, double tab, type will be string. The value will be title. We'll have a description for the book. So string description. Then we're going to have a bool value. Is this book a book that you have read already? Or is it a book that you are reading or you plan to read? So prop. Data type will be bool. Then is read. If it's a read book, then you need to also provide the date when you read this book. So prop. The type will be date time. So this probably will be date read. Now, if you have not read a book, you certainly don't need to add a date read value. So let us make this property optional. And you can make a property optional in C sharp by just typing the question mark. So the question mark after the date type. Next, if you have read a book, you need to also provide like a rate and the rate will be a number between one and five. So it will be of type integer. The property name will be rate. And this also needs to be an optional property. So for that, I'll just add the question mark after the int data type. Then next for all the books, we'll have a cover picture. So prop string, let's say cover URL. Then next we'll have a property, the date time type date edit. So when did you add this book to your library? We can also have like other properties like genre. So I'll just add just before the rate, the book genre. So prop string genre then we would have let's say the author of the book so prop and the author is really important so string and we are just going to provide the author full name or just author let us just leave this property as author this is all you need to do to add a model class because to add a model class you basically define the class name and this class name will be used as the table name in your sql database you need an ID, an identifier, 
Then you have all the other properties like title, description, which are of type string. And you have also defined other data types like a bool or a date time.